In this video, we're doing a simple oil change on a John Deere S240 lawn tractor. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'll be your Shade Tree Mechanic for this video. To begin, I'm going to warm up the oil for a few minutes by letting the engine idle. While we're waiting, let's grab our tools, set down our floor protection system, and put on the proper attire. Then, grab the oil and the filter, and you don't have to remember it all, I'm putting a list in the description below. Now that our oil is warmed up, let's go get our lawn tractor. So I pull it in the garage directly over the cardboard and we're ready to go. Let's pop the hood and get started. Although we can see most of the engine compartment, there's this cover in the way, so we're going to need to remove that first. Now there's only one bolt you have to remove on the bottom of the cover. So just grab yourself a socket wrench and preferably a deep well socket, uh, it's a little bit deep in there, and then just loosen it. Once the bolt is loose, slide off the cover and put it to the side. So I grabbed my rather unorthodox plastic oil container. Otherwise, I'd have to remove the deck to fit my regular oil pan. If you need to remove your deck, then check out my other video on how to do it. Now my makeshift oil container won't just sit where I need it. So I lower the deck, and then I grab a piece of scrap plywood and make a makeshift platform for my oil container. To further minimize mess, I jam some paper towels underneath the drain plug and the oil filter so that any oil that spills out will be somewhat contained. But no matter what you do, oil does have a habit of getting everywhere, so do the best you can. Now I'm going to remove the drain plug and drain the oil from the engine. I always pull the container closer to it when it first starts just in case it spurts farther than I anticipate. Once the oil is draining, I put it on the makeshift platform and then just let it drain. So put the drain plug to the side, and then just come up to the oil cap. Loosen that so that air can get in, and then watch how much faster the oil flows out. So this is something you really want to remember to do. So once you're down to the last few drops, then just clean off your drain plug, and then just stick it back in. And tighten it up. And because I caught my oil in a container, I can just package it up, label it, and bring it to an auto parts store or township recycling. So now it's time to turn our attention to the filter. So to remove it, I have a uh, filter wrench that is really convenient. So I use that to remove it. If you don't have one, you can use a strap wrench, but uh, they're a little clumsy. So I would say just buy a filter wrench. They're so much nicer, especially if you're going to have the mower for a long time. And then you can see the oil start dripping down as I remove it. And, you know, I, I probably should have used more paper towels, but I didn't. And here's the oil filter I just removed. So now you just clean it all up as best you can. A uh, little oil is not going to hurt anything. It's just messy. But uh, just get in there, clean it all up, and everything will be fine. Don't worry, nothing's going to explode. It's not going to light your engine on fire or anything. So just try to get off as much as you can as best you can. Let's get started on the new filter. First, put a little dab of oil on your finger and then rub that oil on the gasket at the top of the filter. You want to get that nice and coated. Then you just want to slide it on and then tighten it as much as you can by hand. Now, once you can't tighten it anymore, you can just come back and do maybe a quarter turn uh, with your socket wrench, you don't want to do too much. You definitely don't want to over tighten. Sometimes I do less than a quarter turn. Depends how it feels. So now you're just going to put your oil in. And it mine calls for 1.7 liters. So I measure it out ahead of time. So definitely don't overfill. And once you got your oil in then you're going to want to check it. So you want to just clean off your dipstick. And then it says on it to not tighten down to get an accurate reading. So after I wipe it off, I stick it in and you can see that it's full. I put the cap back on. So if you, if you were sure, you always tell them more. I'm going to remove my board, bring my deck up. Now, if you notice, I didn't put the cover back on, and there's a reason for that. So what I like to do is turn it on and then just idle it outside. Don't idle it in your garage unless you 
you have the death wish. But I'll idle it outside, just outside my garage, and just let it sit there for a few minutes. And then after a few minutes, I come back, and then I just check to make sure there's no leaks. So I just poke around with a towel on my finger and just feel around the gasket, feel around underneath. And, you know, if I can't feel anything, then I'm good to go. So then I put the cover back on. You just you slide the uh, cover back in place and then you tighten that one bolt and your mower is now done. Your oil change is complete. So now you can just watch me clean up or you can check out some of my other videos. If I look grumpy, it's because I don't like cleaning up. Thanks for watching.